Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Freaking the mask. What the hell are you talking about? I was just at the security station watching the feeds. There's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage. He wears like a 3D printed mask. Oh, yeah, that must be Bird. Oh, yeah, man, his interrogation techniques, totally just out of box stuff. Like truth serums, drugs, that kind of thing. But uh, none of the rough stuff. Now, they don't like to mark up their patients, so to speak. Those Mossad boys like things Bird. Ezra Byrne? Yeah. Yeah, man, I've heard of him. Chemical interrogation expert. I guess it's his makeshift lab they've set up. Word is he can make anyone crack. Oh, man, you don't know the half of it. I mean, Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. The stuff this guy's into? Get this. Drug-induced hypnosis, memory wipes, subliminal mind control. Christ, this is you got him. That is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. Fascinating. According to the blueprint, Sean Rose is building an explosive battery unit for a Link 4 smartwatch. The charge appears to be email triggered. The unassuming target checks his messages, the virus triggers the charge, and boom. Very clever, not to mention devious. The resident hackers have installed the software trigger on one of their phones, and here is the punchline. Rose himself wears a Link 4.
nice to each other. Dogs and cats. Poor Spike. That's a disease. A dog with a disease. He doesn't have much time left. So he goes on a heartwarming voyage across the nation to find his owner. And across the way comes across a cat. And they become best friends and work together for a heartwarming, heartwarming story about dogs and cats and disease. This film is rated PG-13. Children under 13 should not be admitted or with parents. Cool parents. So, uh, come on down to old Stevie's used cars, because we got all the cars that, that are used that, that, that you would want to, to, to buy. Um, and please, please come down and buy them, because I need to pay for it. You know, you don't need to know that. I just, <laughs> just know that Stevie will be down here, and I'll be wearing my clocks, wearing my clocks and selling used cars. So, hurry on down, quick. training accident. That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's a point man in the Mexico operation. Excuse me, sir. Seems like you're not cleared to come through here. Sorry. Is Ezra Bird, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Victor, Strange to see her right as part now. of this we crowd. Clear. Semper Paratus. We're clear, sir.
thing made Ezra Berg's interrogation mask. Good day. John Rose confirmed down. Nicely done. Help me! Please! Help me! Help me! Please! Someone help me! Come on! I think we got some trouble. Understood! Time to step up! It's go time! House is clear. I have to say, it's a beautiful piece of work. That is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate turned insurgent. You see how tiny it is? It's like a smartwatch battery. It's so fully integrated with the hardware that most laymen can take it apart and never even notice. Ah, oh, shit. You know what? This area has been declared a restricted area. Mike 1, Tango is standing down. Thank you, sir. Stay clear. Fine. He's an artist, but he's still a bloody coward. Never like them, never will. Oh, you were at Jordan Cross's funeral, huh? Ah, oh, it was a thing of beauty. Whole team moving. Why did they put Ramirez in the you can't shoot? Him. What? <sighs> I'm good.
always yearns for a cause, sure. But any cause will do. But yet deep down, the only thing he's really looking for is justification. Don't get me wrong, Sean Rose was born for this. The enemy doesn't expect it. Their cruelty, it's too, uh, it's too remote. You know, you sign a document, thousands of people die half a week away. It's unreal. You, go. That was strange, all right? Sure. Don't get me wrong. Sean Rose was born for this. The enemy doesn't expect it. Their cruelty, it's too, uh... It's too... Stop! What's that doing here? You need a mint, twat. So, uh, not to be a pain, but what's the point of practicing if Burgess is our commission boss? Well, how about because I told you so? That... Good enough for you? Oh, well, yeah, sure. Oh, dear. <gasps> no one ever taught you any manners? Parvati is down. Good work. Either you 
Press that trigger and stand up for your side. Please stay back. This area is a restricted area and I can't let you in. Huh? Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. Just cross your fingers that the damn thing Holster doesn't your weapon, again, buddy. Rose gets a lot of important phone calls. He's mad threat. as hell when you're the Yes, he and the boss should have thought of that before they moved See him here, orchard clear. Time to go to work. Red leader area is clear. Moving on to Delta Zulu. Over. if it comes to that. Kind of suspicious behavior will get you killed around here. Just saying.
Find out what that was. Affirmative. Good job, recruit. Semper Paratus. Forty-seven. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access... You need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing.
The plot thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Delvade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now, how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. Sodas? But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man nobody's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. A warden didn't like to leave witnesses. <laughs> they shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. <laughs>